ever play this song whenever they introduce you? That tough enough song? I think I've heard it once. <laughs> so tell us how your finals has been. It's been great. We've run six so far and got them all down. Glad to be here. Alright, last night you finally got a calf that was good. Tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, drawing on the bad end of them, some would say, but I think I draw pretty good every time. And last night I had a one that took the tide somewhat. And uh, Was that your fastest run of the rodeo? Yeah, I got him down at 8 flat. 8 flat, see there, he's it's on a star. Right now, it's going to be rolling. But last night I did notice, uh, was the first time I've been to the rodeo, and when they introduced Tough Cooper, it sounded like I was at a Jonas Brothers concert. <laughs> Every young girl, 18 and younger, and I'm pretty sure Strands Ball, got up and went, <laughs> But, sorry, that wasn't a very good impression. I'm not going to do that ever again. And, uh, no, but honestly, I felt like Hannah Montana just walked into the NFR. Because it, every girl in there, it's, I mean, I was jealous. Even though most of them were 12. I was jealous because, <laughs> yes, that's what it felt like. It felt like Hannah Montana. Do you feel like Hannah Montana? Or, I mean, do you feel, no. Do you feel, do you feel like a rock star? Like a, like a, a teen idol when you walk in there? Maybe a little bit. I feel like I got a lot of younger female fans. And that's okay with you, isn't it? Oh, that's awesome. That's totally okay. Is that, is that that's great? Is that the best part about being Tough Cooper? I wouldn't say it's the best part, but it's up there to make. <laughs> okay, so actually on that same subject at Puyallup this year, you were there. You're having a great year. You're coming off big wins and. And I'm not going to tell a story that you don't think I'm going to tell. Uh, no, but it's, it's late after the rodeo. We were hanging out. We were roping the dummy. And I walk by and I see Tuff Cooper's trailer. And I'm thinking it's Friday night in Washington. All the cowboys are, are partying and having fun. And I'm like, Tuff Cooper, you know, he's on a roll. He's 18. He's going to be right there in the middle. You know what Tuff Cooper was doing? He was roping the calf dummy. I went up to him. I said, Tuff, you know, where's the ladies? Where's the party at? He's like, now I'm staying focused. You know, that's not a, a, a priority of mine. My priority is to win that gold buck team of the year. And I, that, I respect that so, so much because of half of the Cowboys. <laughs> and half of the Cowboys. Hey, back to that, yeah, I was in bed by 10 o'clock, not for the eight rounds. So don't you, don't you <laughs> give me that. Okay, all right. But half of the Cowboys are professional rodeo. You know, if they have that same focus, you're 18 years old. You missed the first five months of the, of the finals because you were 17, or it's not the finals, but of the of the pro rodeo year. But you still come into the NFR ranked number six. Do you feel that because of your focus, because of your your morals and your driving power, that that's helped you at 18 years old get to where Tough Cooper needs to be? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, nobody would be anywhere if they didn't have that. You know, but I'm glad I had that in me at a young age. And Right now, got to do me every day. That's good. So here at the finals, you know, you stay focused throughout the whole year. At the finals, are you staying? Are you still trying to focus, or is that? Oh yeah, you got to stay focused to beat these guys. It's the top 15 in the world, and if you can't beat them going out every night, you got to beat them staying in and staying focused to do the best you can. So then, what do you do after the rodeo? Do you go bowling, or I mean, <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> Usually have a little nice dinner, uh, go to a little church service after the performance each night and go have a dinner and uh, go on to bed. That's awesome. That's awesome. 18 years old, I know I'm 23 and I'm nowhere close to being this mature as he is. And I'm not even at the finals. And I wear, I, I bought a South Point vest and I wear it around like, hey, and they're like, you in the rodeo? Yeah. Sure. What do you do? Bull, uh, bull rider. Yeah. And uh, it hasn't worked yet, so I'm still hoping, though. Uh, no. But man, if, if, is it hard to stay? I mean, is it hard to, you know, try to really stay? You get 10 days out here. You get 10 days out here. Is it hard to remain, keep that level of focus throughout the whole thing? Oh, you just get into it. It's just pretty easy after you get into it. The first couple of days, it's... No, I don't, I don't have to tell you. So is it intimidating roping against, I mean, your heroes, roping against guys, you know, Trevor Brazil, your next door neighbor, is it intimidating roping against him? No, it's not roping against, roping against him all year long and all my life. It's, it's more fun than it is anything. 
That's good. So do you think Trevor's beatable? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Have you ever thought of hiring somebody to take Trevor out? Because I am Italian and I've got the hookups. So. No, so I maybe watch his back a few times before I do that. You would watch his back? Oh, yeah. So you wouldn't like hit him in the knees or something? Are you just saying that because she's here? <laughs> hey. That's my brother. What? That's my baby brother. <laughs> Your sister shot in Brazil? <laughs> Freaking right. <laughs> yes. We're best friends now. <laughs> no? Okay. Sorry. Uh, once again, I crossed that line. And, uh, okay, next question. Back to Rodeo. I did not know that was your oh, brother. That is so crazy. You guys are all related? Yeah, we show up to a Rodeo. It's like a big family reunion. Wow. So Strand Smith's fault is your grandma. Yes, ma'am. There is, sir. Sorry about the man. What? Dude, I'm not the one with the long hair, okay? <laughs> Granted, my dancing's a touch feminine, but that does not give you reason to call me ma'am. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's my grandma Mimi, and uh, oh. my uncle see, is... I thought you just came to the show to see the show, but now I get it. I'm slightly hurt by that. Uh, but I'm gonna get over it, okay? Maybe we can talk later. Shout out to them. Okay. <laughs> that's right, I just did the guns and the wing to shout out, and Trevor's probably gonna kill me now. But I'm okay with that. So if you are tough Cooper, does it ever get on your nerves a little bit that everybody says, you know, Roy Cooper, Roy Cooper, Roy Cooper? No, I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's great. That's good. I think it's cool too. Is that actually, is that one of his gold buckles? Yeah, yeah. I wear uh, my dad's 1983 stereo up and gold buckle. That's awesome. Yeah. Been wearing it forever. That's awesome. So speaking of, speaking of stereo up and gold buckles, Team Open Gold Buckles in high school, you had a pretty successful Team Open career with Jay Cobb. Uh, is that a goal of yours, is to dethrone your brother-in-law and become the next Trevor Brazil, the next Triple Crown winner? That'd be a lot, that'd be a lot of fun. It's going to take a lot of hard work, but it's definitely a goal in my life. So what's your words of advice to all the young people? Actually, there's just one young person in the audience, but what's your words of advice as a young man, you know, having a dream of winning the gold buckle, making your first MFR? We're gonna ask both of you guys this. What's your advice to them? Actually, it's for me, but tell them. <laughs> tell me your secret's tough. <laughs> just to work hard every day and never give up, and just be a good, good guy and live a good life. That's awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Josie Young and the Tough Cooper. Roy Sub. Well, my name is Anthony Lucia. I hope you guys had an awesome time. I thank you so much for coming to our show. Remember, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're going to be moving. I want to thank Group W Productions. And you have come to the best gift show in Las Vegas. It's the Area Country Christmas. Have a blessed day, everybody.